walking through the woods and um, I thought I'd make a video because I was feeling really happy and I just thought well, I just want to talk about why being in nature can make you feel really happy and um, I was standing with a yew tree and a you know it was a lovely tree it's a very sturdy strong tree you know and all around me there's lots of different types of trees I often talk about the health benefits of being nature I teach people this because you know it's it's incredibly it happens <laughs> and um, we give a lot of words to things these days don't we like forest bathing and mindful walking and um, meditation you know we come out to the natural world and just feel it and breathe in those chemicals that are being out by the trees so the chemicals that are being given out by trees are very good for us because they clean the air and they're antiviral and they're antimicrobial and when you breathe them in you help to do things like uh, lower cortisol levels lower stress levels and you uh, help to build your immune system and, and balance out your blood pressure it just naturally happens and, uh, when you walk on the earth then you are taking in the earth's electrical energy because everything that's living has an electrical charge so the earth has a negative electrical charge and when you take that in it helps to get rid of the positive electrical charge of things like free radicals that are floating around your system that you've picked up throughout the day especially when you're on computers which can cause cell damage which ultimately can cause things like cancer there's an incredibly amazing health benefit being out here not to say uh, the fact that you come out of your head <laughs> we have a lot of presence these days on thinking and uh, um, rationality linear thinking getting from a to b so it gets you out of here think 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 which i do a lot <laughs> and gets you back down here so that gives you a sense of like it's almost like the breath coming right back down out of your head stress chemicals whirring around decision making but just the breath of breathing the mindfulness you know so this happens right? I don't to think about it that's the lovely thing it brings you back into the uh, sort of the, the heart zone the feeling the soul zone you know because you are spiritual you are to have a soul and I think that when I say happiness for me it's a real sense of contentedness it's not the adrenaline rush of going I'm gonna jump out of plane or like, I'm gonna go and get drunk and be with my mates and have a laugh and and uh, which I don't really do anymore. Well, I do have a lot <laughs> with mates, but I don't really go out and get drunk anymore because I don't feel the need to. Um, it doesn't really work with my body anymore either because I work with healing and it doesn't have that great effect for me. Um, I don't really want to go around driving fast cars either, although some people like it. Um, but not, I'm not talking this heady excitement thing, but this real sense of contentedness. And I think, how often, think about how often do you really feel happy? Like, I'm really happy to be alive. and wow, this is just beautiful, and having such a beautiful experience beyond stuff or gaining, but just just being here. That's what I think the woods does. Look at that lovely tree in the background there. Wow. So the natural world, I think, gives us a real sense of contentment, and it's not a fast, rushing, uh, adrenaline rush thing. It's a real, just, I'm harmonised and I'm balanced out, and that creates this sense within all my cells, because my cells respond to what's around them they respond to the environment that we're in so as you breathe and you breathe out you're breathing this lovely oxygen you breathe out carbon dioxide so you're naturally synchronizing and you're harmonizing with the plants and the trees in this breath exchange but you're breathing the lovely chemicals but you're sharing energy with them so everything that's living has an, a life force an energy that flows through it so you share the energy field around you Everything in nature feels pretty harmonious, right? It pretty much knows what to do. It grows new life, and it goes back to the earth. It creates good soil, and it grows new life in the soil. And it makes you feel happy because it isn't having an agenda or telling me to do something. It just requires me being here. All our cultures in the past and our sort of tribes, our, our ancient tribes, recognise their connection to nature for well-being and for survival. And even though we are as a species like more than we've ever been, we're nearly eight billion strong and we aren't just surviving, we're thriving. Well, that's great in a way, isn't it? But I can't say we're really living in harmony with the earth because there's so much going on that isn't respecting the earth. It's not looking after the creature of the planet. And I think that if you have the power to create, which we do, you also have the power to destroy. And unfortunately, it's gone out of balance a bit. So, you know, we are 
with our opposable thumbs able to do magical amazing things but just being here is magical so surely being able to do what we can do means that we could be more caretakers of the planet to look after the life around us the life then looks after us and um, I find this material world that we're living in you know I've lived my whole life in that and watched it develop and uh, it's very not soul driven it doesn't take into account the soul of life and when people throughout thousands of years recognize the fact you could go and pick up a plant and eat it and it gave you sustenance and that it contained goodness for your body and that they recognized that the plants created medicines and that they really respected nature and they didn't have electricity so they really got in touch with the earth and they woke up close to the earth because they were living close to the earth they weren't walking out straight onto concrete or getting into a car and driving around in a piece of metal they were really organically living and um the way we're being encouraged now to come back to the earth that's not a bad thing it's a great thing you know um if you're feeling happy is by that achieving of something that's a brilliant thing because we're here to do great things kindness compassion love seem to be the things that we could leave as a legacy you know to to work with each other and to work in harmony with the earth there's a lot of dogs walking around this park i really like dogs they're lovely beings and I really like people a lot. I love people, you know, and we all have a part to play that's quite beautiful. We are in an age which is, you know, in the call it age of Pisces, which if you think about Jesus, he's a very strong, beautiful light worker, miracle healer, come to this planet, you know. Uh, the original teachers of Jesus were, Jesus were about love and healing. And, you know, you see Jesus with the cross, the zodiacal cross, and they're represented by a fish, which is the age of Pisces. And the Bible makes references to this age and the next age which is the age of Aquarius with the water picture. So we are being geared now towards a more spiritual age, supposedly about 2150, and I think a lot of us are feeling that. So this part of humanity we're going to very technologically driven, which doesn't take into account the soul or spiritual part of life to our own detriment and to the detriment of life on Earth, where where we look what's happening, may we're geared to come through that. So however you want to describe what you do, or just being in nature, still do it but feel that happiness because the happier we are the more we spread happiness the more we feel that love uh, the more we can make changes upon the planet and uh, feel that peace and that happiness it may sound really happy or oh, peace love and happiness but actually those are the driving forces and this great presence that is behind all of life around us which was recognized by the way by every single culture uh, throughout history of humanity, which recognise the life force, which recognise the presence, whether you call that God, Supreme Creator, uh, Great Spirit, the Tao, this is the way, it, it flows through all of life, feeling that, which is difficult to feel, I think, sometimes when you're in a technological world geared through screens and information and processes and, and uh, going from A to B, it, you forget that sometimes, but you'll never away from that presence that presence is with you constantly and i think the natural world helps us to come into balance with that it takes you away from fear it reminds you that there's a life cycle that everything grows everything lives blossoms and dies physically but that the energy within it all goes on and when you recognize that you stop being afraid of illness you stop being afraid of death because you recognize the fact that your physical life right now is just one part of it and that the energy flow and the spiritual part of you that coexists with the physical world carries on and uh, it becomes quite magical so maybe that's a sense of happiness the sense of contentedness it goes beyond stuff the material worlds opinions judgments having this having that but just that sense of being at one with the creator at one with the earth so i wish you a really great day and lots and lots of happiness because uh we all really deserve that right now and every single day.